Hello, my name is Michelle. Today I will be discussing a Wedgwood cameo brooch that was passed to me by my grandmother Rose. I will be discussing ways in which I can best preserve this important piece of jewellery to ensure that I can pass it on to future generations. This is in line with the National Archives of Australia vision to secure, preserve and make accessible priceless information for the benefit of current and future generations. The blue and white cameo features a dancing lady on the face of the brooch. The hard paste porcelain panel is stamped Wedgwood, made in England, X74, which is the year of manufacturing. It has a typical Wedgwood ball design mount and is in good condition with no chips or damage and just slight tarnishing of the silver surrounds. The pin and safety catch are also in good condition. Jasper stone consists of jasper, barium sulphate and ball clay which is stained with metallic oxide colours to produce the signature Wedgwood pale blue. Wedgwood states that the jasper ware is fired at high temperatures and crafted to be durable. It cautions that jasper stone should not be immersed in water and to avoid abrasive materials when cleaning, rapid temperature changes, exposure to chemicals and knocking or dropping on hard surfaces due to its ceramic nature. The edging and the pin is made of sterling silver which as a metal alloy is known to be soft. No matter how much care is taken, small scratches will appear on the polished surface. To remove incrustations, silver polish should be used and scouring powders avoided. To slow down tarnishing, warm moist air should also be avoided. The physical degradation of the cameo is known as its inherent vice. In other words, the built-in decay of the object due to the material it is made of, and in this case, jasper and silver. This will help us determine effective preservation practices. Extrinsic factors can wear, include wear and tear, which is minor but evident on the stone and silver. This may be due to oils from the skin, contact with other surfaces, cleaning practices, chemical contact from perfumes, plus poor storage practices that have resulted in dust and grime. Preventative preservation plan helps to delay and minimise further damage in the future by improving storage, controlling the environment and disaster management. The cameo resides in my home with high ceilings, thick walls and large overhangs resulting in a stable temperature range. Kept within a jewellery organiser within a bedroom far away from water and direct sunlight is another positive environmental control. To prevent scratching of the stone and tarnishing of the silver, the piece will be placed in a Ziploc bag wrapped in acid-free tissue paper separate from my other pieces. This is an active piece that I hope to use for many years to come. Retrospective preservation occurs after damage has happened to the material and an active treatment plan in the short term will include gentle cleaning of embedded grime and treating the silver. Care needs to be taken when exposing the cam cameo to outside environmentals, potentially avoiding humid temperatures. While Jasper Stone is hardy, it can crack and the cameo must be securely fastened to clothing. At present, it has a single C clasp. When being worn, chemicals such as perfume and hairspray should be applied after the brooch is secured. The second media we will consider is a digital surrogate. The user often influences the type of digital preservation strategies to implement. In this case, if the piece were lost or stolen, I would have a digital record of its existence, potentially for insurance purposes. The digital copy of the Cameo, taken with an Apple iPhone 12, was easily accessible, rather than obtaining professional equipment. The image created by the iPhone presents access risks in the future. With planned obsolescence, a business strategy in which a product in manufacturing is planned to one day become obsolete, a well-known tactic with Apple products, there is a risk that the digital object will be difficult to access in the future. The type of file, HEF, is also Apple-centric. Storing on a private home computer also comes with its own risks. Damage to the hardware through accident or age, environmental disasters such as fire or flooding to the house where my computer is kept. To mitigate this risk, the digital image has been uploaded to my personal cloud account. Limitation of this storage is inherent security and bit rot issues. The image has been converted to a JPEG from a HEF file, which is a default Apple format. National Archives of Australia states that the master image files produced should be usable for a wide variety of applications and outputs. Guided, 
by the State Library of Queensland's digitised standard, JPEG is one of the most popular images formats used for storing and transmitting images on the internet. The main reason behind this popularity is the extremely effective compression offered by JPEG file formats. SLQ file name conventions have also been used to provide consistency for identification, storage and access with the file name also containing metadata on the object itself. Finally, the file is kept in two locations, both on my personal computer and in cloud storage to act as a backup file to reduce risk.